Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? I'll give it in. Somebody's giving for you. What's good, people? <laughs> Woo, what's good, people? It's the day of the day, whenever day we call. Monday, anyway, that being said, what's good, people? As you notice, my phone is ringing. My phone does not ring until I'm doing something. My phone does not ring unless I'm going somewhere. My phone does not ring unless I'm going to the store. My phone does not ring unless I'm doing something. Anyway, that being said, whatever happened to you, you can be in the house all day, and as soon as you decide to do something, or as soon as you get on the phone with someone else, the phone starts ringing. Anyway, that being said, I guess it's a thing called life. Anyway, that's what it is. What's going on, real? Oh, it is the day of the day of, oh, make sure everything's okay, you know. I know y'all checking me out, honey. I know y'all looking at you looking for my finer things in life. Anyway, that being said, what's going to be both? Oh, I want to talk to you about agriculture. Agriculture. <laughs> Anaconda. Anaconda. Anyway. Oh, and if you don't know, I'm talking about mandingos as in big dicks and stuff like that, you know. Um, I have to talk about this once again. I've talked about this before. I will talk about it once again. Hmm. That being said, you know, I understand the girls want to have these guys have really huge, humongous penises. And some girls feel as though their bodies are very big and stuff like that. You know, and they have to have a big dick in order for them to feel like it's because they have more cushion for the pushing. Anyway, that being said, and then there are the girls like me or girls that are a little more small. I'm not really small, but I'm smaller than most, but not smaller than many. Cause I'm a big bitch. But anyway, you know, the girls that like to get really, really big dicks and their bodies are really petite and small and stuff like that. You girls that are under, you know, 140, 130, you know, you small, petite girls. Now, you get these dicks and stuff like this and, you know, you put them all inside your body, including your boys, the gay boys. And y'all get these big dicks and y'all put them inside of your body and then you spend the rest of your life douching. And I say that because you have to douche because that's the only way you see the clean yourself. Now I understand you want to get that big old cock stuck inside your butt and you just want somebody to fuck you up so good, honey, because it feels so much better. And it's giving you your life, honey. You're living. You're feeling fabulous. But at the end of the day... When he's living and he's fucking, I know he's cute and stuff like that. He's like, oh my God, he's got a big dick and, a, and he's fucking, he's fucking on a regular basis. Aren't you afraid to fart? <laughs> like, your hole is so open that, bitch, if you fart, you may have shit in your bed. And when you have, when you have to understand, a hole is getting stretched and it's getting stretched and it's getting stretched to the point where... I'm sure the opening is not closing exactly the way it once did when it was a virgin. You know, once a virgin is really, really tight. And when I say mandigos, let me tell you. Let me give you an example. Okay. Now, the penises, okay, we're going to exaggerate a little bit. You know, penises, there are we know there are some like this. And we know there are some like this. And we know there are some like this, and they're just a thing. But this is not considered a mandingo. Some of you guys go to store by Magnums and you know that is not the section you need to go in. You need to walk around and go to the other area. And then there are some men out here that are like this. who are like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, and got a dick this big. Mother knows. Mother's seen it all. Because you already know mother has lived, honey. Then you have guys that are with dick stuff like this. And this is like, I would say about a good, hmm, I'd say about a good 9 inches, if not 10. But this is still not a mandingo. It may be big unless it's girth. And I mean girth. Now this is a mandingo. Now in case you don't know, let me just share this again. This is a mandingo. That mandingo sticks all the way up to here. It is about this much girth, if not wider, to this point of girth. You see this? Now you girls sit up there and you put this kind of mandingo up inside. Now you remind you, they're going inside and they're going way up into here. Now I'm about them doing all that stuff. They're up there going in and out, in and out, in and out, and they're just fucking up your insides, honey. You know, your blood and your glands and all that shit up is inside there. I understand you get you're like, oh my God, I'm, he's feeling fabulous, but he's hitting all kind of organs and shit inside of there. You know, the, the shoot goes one way and it comes out. Now he's just pushing it, pushing shit. Now, he done let go and release and your body's like, oh, ooh, it's shaking. You're like, oh, girl, he turned me out. No, bitch, it's shaking because it's coming together because they don't know what the fuck just happened. <laughs> But you get in your life. And the simple fact of the matter is that now when you then let him run up inside you so many times because he is fine, honey. All your insides have been moved. Now the two days to go straight down that goes, you know, to after your rectum and comes out your butt. 
now it's all open and it's stressed and stuff like that. So now the feces that's supposed to come, this is so disgusting, but it's the feces that's supposed to come out your body, it's a little bit over here, it's a little bit over here, and it's a little bit over here. Now a lot of times you girls and stuff like that have to clean your stuff. You have to douche, you have to push it in. And you know, some girls that got the super douches that's come this fucking big and the car they come all the way up and motherfucker come out your nose. It seems like now the rest of your life when you i feeling so lovely and so fab. Now you have to spend the rest of your life douching because the shit is stuck all over your sugar walls. And now your sugar walls have shit on them. <laughs> but you was getting your life. And now the girl's like, well, I douche, it don't matter to me. I just have to have a big thing. Bitch, your insides are just coming together. Now when you fart, you know there may be shit or feces in your underwear. You have to go check yourself. You can't even let a, you know, a little, you know, a little secret part. Everybody likes to let a little secret part out. Honey, you let a little secret part, you feel something shake and fall down into the bed. It's mother, you will come together. <laughs> now, I'm not talking for me, Spencer, uh-uh. But I'm not talking about that because I know the girls and stuff like that. I know what comes down to my body. I know it's going to be it's gonna be a problem and it's not going to be that. I have to respect my body because the simple fact of the matter is that I have to head for down the road. Down the road is when you get a little older and your body's not moving the way you want. And then it's stuff like that and then when you take a part and stuff like that, you shit all over your fucking self. And that's the worst thing you want to do is meet a guy that you meet and he takes out your pants and there's a ton of shit sticking in your fucking underwear. <laughs> It's not funny, but I just wanted to put this out there because you girls be like, oh, what do you think? He's got a big dick. He's got a big, oh, girl, I want to suck his big old dick. Girl, you put that and he's fucking in your butt, honey, and you're coming together. You're getting your life and shit. It's all up inside your ass. So when somebody tell you the next time you full of shit, bitch, do not get upset. <laughs> just say, maybe. <laughs> Anyway, that being said, I just want to put this out here because the girls be always keep telling me, like, girl, he got a big dick, he got a big dick, bitch. You better worry about what's going on with your insides because I know just because he look good at you and him satisfy him sexually, honey. You got to understand, your sugar walls are full of shit. The rest of your life, you're going to be spending, you're going to the rest of your life, you're going to be spending most time in the bathroom douching. And some of us have to sit there and douche even longer than others. And they don't have all that big. And then the rest of you girls, you got to spray on this side, you got to spray on this side, you got to spray on this side, because your shit is so out of whack. And then some of you girls that can actually stand up and turn around, and there is a hole there. There is no longer there the little skin I used to cover it. Oh, yes, yeah, Rachel's been looking at the porn videos and shit. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm a nosy bitch, so I'm always looking. Anyway, that being said, I just wanted to put this out there for you girls who like to take it. You just better think twice. I don't care how far it is. You better think about the walls after a while. Because after a while, even though you're young and stuff like that, full of fabulous, there will be some shitty underwear. And you way past wearing diapers, honey. But you will be in one. Anyway, that being said, I want to say hello to all new people. Boom. I want to say to people, bam. And I know you're going to do what you want to do because you're going to do what you want to do anyway. And I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, I want you to do you, I want you to do you the best way you can, and if nobody like it, then fuck them.